Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number three for hotel management system in Django with Next.js. In this video, we are going to create the room types page, right? In this room types page, we will show the listing that how many kinds of room available uh, in this system, right? So user can browse and uh, he can book the room according to the room type, right? So in this uh, video, we will also uh, we will also implement the pagination and the filter uh, design okay and uh, one more thing we will Im include the uh, css styling because in our previous video uh, we have added the css in the inline in the home layout but now in this video we will create a separate css and we will see that how we can include how we can create right so let's start with the uh, room types page all right, so let's first of all implement the global styling then we will proceed to uh, create the room type listing okay so this is our home page that we have created in our previous video you can check the video right this is video number two where we have created the home layout right so and i'm trying to create uh, and uh, try to explain everything as much as i can for this project but if i missed something then please add in the comment section and if you like this video then please write awesome uh, for uh, for this video for this channel right okay so let's apply the styling right global styling so what we will do here first of all i will cancel this and then i will open it here and uh, in the root directory so this is our root right so what i will do i will create uh, one folder i will say styles right and in the styles i will create here new file global.css right and in the global.css i will define some classes so hms bg uh, i will say normal right and then here i will open our page it's uh, this is our home page actually we need to open the header actually right so let's hide this okay so this is the light one but this is a color so what i will do color right and here i will say color light okay and let's copy this one pg uh, let's say normal background normal so background normal is uh, background normal is uh, where is our nav bar this one okay this is the normal and we have one more version dark dark and uh, we should have a button so this one is right and now let's include this global in our layout right so it, it will apply on everyone right so here import we will go down to the root directory then global.css correct and then we will apply the class so this class is i'll remove this styling and i'll apply the class and i'll apply the class this one right so hms bg normal right so header hms bg normal and let's see is this class is applying or not so i will copy this uh, sorry i will say this okay so here we have written uh, actually color but it should be background color right and let's copy this one here also okay so now i have applied the class here you can see hms bg normal right and uh, it is showing here now okay and one more class for the book uh, for the button uh, hms bg dark right so copy this and remove this styling and here we will add hms bg dark right so now our styling is working but uh, this is styling is something different so i will say here uh, i'll copy this one and paste here and i'll say hover for the hover same styling so when we hover it it will the same style right 
so we have applied the global styling now whenever we need to use we will use from the global right and uh, now let's uh, create the uh, room types okay so what we will do when we click on this it will open the page room types and we will also see that how the uh, next.js routing uh, functionality works right so let's do the room types okay so now we need to do what type of things we need to do room types right so when we click on, uh, when we go to this url it should open the room types right so let's see how it how it is working how this page is rendering let's see okay so what we have here if we see uh in this let's close this public uh when we go to the uh, go to this then it is by default load the page.cs from the app right now what i will do i will create one more folder i will say room types right and in the room types we need to create page.js so it will automatically when we go to the room types it will automatically load the page.js right so let's export export default function we'll say page right and here let me so just a simple example i will say a section and in the section i will say all room types right and when we go to the room types right then it is showing here see right so now let's link this room types page also the home page uh, to the header right okay so let's link the home page uh, route and uh, when we click on this so it should go to that page okay so what we will do here uh, let's go to page and let's import the link from the next link and then uh, not here Actually, we need to do in the component right so first of all we will go to the which component home services right and in the home services we will import this component link and uh, here we will add link right okay and then close this and the same thing href and href will be room types right but the thing is this room type should be okay so it will open all the room types okay right so when we click on this it will open the room types uh, page okay so when we click on this it is opening and the url is also changing but the styling is little bit different but so what i will do here i will say text or let's do one thing uh let's do okay so let's add text white okay and let's add a global styling i will add a global styling and add here text decoration none for all right so text decoration none for all okay so it's a text decoration none but uh, how the user know that this is uh, how the user knows this is link so let i think let's remove this and one more thing home services this is a uh, uh, we have defined the color bg dark okay so what i will do hms hms bg dark okay uh, if i say normal this is normal same as header let's say dark dark is nice okay and also here let's add hms only hms and let's say hms okay right so when we click on this room type it is opening the room type let's also add here the link in the header in the header uh, we also need to import the link so when you type the link it is it will import link and from this link we can add here okay so just change this one with this and anchor will be 
the href will be this and the color is style color is hms color light right so when we click on this it will home page and when we click on this room type the home page and room type also we need to add the link in the uh, link on the image right so let's add this link to the image also so image right so here link and let's remove this because no need to add class text wide because we are loading image in this okay and click this so this is room types and it is loading right here okay oh 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 yes room types okay fine uh, one more thing in the header we also need to add link on the home page right okay so here we are so home is also working when we click on the room types when you go on the home it's also working. okay so now let's uh let's uh, uh design the layout for the room types page right okay so for this designing what we need to do so we are in let's close this this also uh, this also and uh, let's keep let's open only this one okay so what we will do first of all first of all let's make it a container right and now uh, let's give it class uh, row right and in the row we will create the room type so let's uh, go to page.js uh, we need to go home services i will copy this one the whole div and uh, paste here right and then we have this thing sorry so this one this one this one here so what it is saying link okay so we need to define the link here uh, link link right right so it will it, it is look like this so what we will do we will give margin padding uh, sorry margin this one and let's give it a heading also we'll give h3 and we'll give a uh, room types right and in the room types we'll also give some margin padding uh, sorry margin right so room types and this is room types so we'll say uh, room type one right and uh, room type two right and room type three right so this is room type one two three and let's give a link here to the all okay two three all right so oh, oh, oh this is card title oh sorry we need to add in the card title okay all right so this is two this is three all right so we have these kind of room types okay but uh one more thing let's add here the number how many room types we have let's say six okay and let's do one thing uh this is row in the row let's remove this row and let's remove this one okay and uh what else we have room types uh, we have this one okay let's copy this room type actually let's copy this one and if we copy this then it will work but without space so what i will do i will add here space margin bottom sorry margin bottom three 
okay this three okay now what uh, actually copy paste margin bottom let's say four actually right so let's say four now let's copy this one paste here so you can see here three so total room types are six room types we have okay okay so by this uh, we have created the room types page we have defined the routing right when we click on this room types it is going to the room types okay so we have uh, with this so we have achieved our target right in the next video in the next section we will create the uh, detail uh, room type uh, when we click on this room types then it will show the uh, room detail that room type detail and we can proceed that booking okay we can proceed bookings and we will also see that how we can define the dynamic routing because when we click this so it should pass that room type id or uh, whatever the slug or something unique to the, uh, to attach this room so that it can show that room type detail and uh, we can book that okay and we will save in the database we will do that later when we uh, work on the api section right so we have created this room types listing page next uh, we will work on the dynamic routing we will work on the uh, room details right so and, and uh, one more thing let me mark this uh, let me mark this as oh one more uh, one thing more we need to apply the pagination also and we need to apply the filter i think filter uh, I think pagination and filter will not work here because room types are not too many. So if need, then we will see. But I don't think that we need to add the pagination or filter to do something, right? If you need, then uh, you can add here the you know right section where we simply put the button. But instead of button, you can put the drop down where you can show high to low or something whatever you want to sorting, right? And uh, we will see that if need pagination then i will add the pagination it's a simple bootstrap style but uh, we'll see that how we can add okay so let's mark it as done okay and in the next we will create the uh, we will not uh, uh, work on the booking form directly because we need to show the details and all so booking form is the next step so uh, we need to include one more uh, video section here right so we will include that all right so thank you so much to watching this video please stay tuned with the core artisan lab and i hope you are enjoying this series if you have anything anything in your mind then please add in the comment section and i will request you to please add if you like this series if you are liking this video then please add awesome in the comment right so that it will motivate me to uh, work more work on more uh, projects and uh, with the more motivation right so thank you so much and also if you need the source code of this project then please uh, send me the request or send me your email uh, i have defined the email here so i will provide you this project source code uh, i think uh, it's a very small price the price is uh, low but i will tell you that how much price but with that price uh, you will get this project because at the end the price will increase but if you purchase now then you can uh, get this project at very uh, low cost okay so thank you so much again and uh, let's meet in the next video and please subscribe if you are new uh, you if you are not subscribed then then please subscribe this channel like this video and comment awesome right so thank you so much let's meet in the next video